Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our tradition does not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced the need for increased security seized upon by those anxious to expand to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to be met, intend it for my soul. And no official of my administration, whether it's rank or high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight and be used to test the news, stifle the stamp, cover up our mistakes. Or to withhold from the press and the public the fact they deserve to know. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and conspiracy that relies primarily on television and expanding the experiment on infiltration and intimidation. by day. It is a system which has contributed vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Preparation is not concealed, not public. States are buried, not headlocked. That is a silent,
recorder of man's deeds, the keeper of his conscience, the courier of his news, that we look for strength and assistance, confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. 